Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today I'm back at Red River Chevrolet in Bossier City, Louisiana, and this is the 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe. This is the premier trim level that we're going to take a quick look at today. Look at really some of the more important features of what you will find on this trim level when compared to some of the others that I've looked at. If you want to see some of my other Tahoe videos, check out the description of the video. I will link those down there for you. That way you can take a look at a little bit more in-depth tour. As far as 2021 goes, a full redesign for the Tahoe. That includes the addition of a three liter diesel engine, if that's something you happen to be interested in. Now, one of the interesting traits of the Tahoe is the fact that it's still very much a truck-like SUV, but that doesn't mean it rides like trucks often do. In fact, with the newly implemented independent rear suspension, the ride quality has improved much more comfort driving down the road. What else has changed? One thing I'm working on is to not say okay guys so much. Okay guys. 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 Yeah. So in the interior, see I didn't say at that time, you're going to find increased space not only for passengers and here's the big thing. A lot of the time when you have a three row SUV like this, the rear seat passengers are the ones who are the most cramped. That's not the case here as General Motors Chevrolet has increased the space between the middle and the rear seats by a reasonable amount to where there actually is a decent amount of leg space back here. And when you lower all of the seats, which can all be done automatically, now you can only raise the seats automatically back up here in the rear area. You'll have to do it manually with those middle row seats, but they do fold down automatically via the switches right here. But here's the change as far as cargo space goes, and it's rather impressive from the fourth to the fifth generation of the Tahoe. 94.7 cubic feet is what you had previous to 2021. With the 21 version of the Tahoe, 122.9 cubic feet. I'm displaying all of that information on the screen for you, along with towing capacity for this particular model. Obviously, there are going to be some differences. And just a real quick look at the front exterior and just really all around the Tahoe so you can see what's changed as far as the body lines and the overall look goes. All of the lights, headlights, tail lights, daytime running lights are LED. And if I don't ever talk about this in the video, it never fails. Somebody's going to ask, are there built-in turn signals? turn signal indicators in the mirrors, side view mirrors, yes there are. But what I really want to show you are some really cool interior features. A couple of points of interest here concerning the rear seat area. With the rear seat access, there is a pass-through right here, but who wants to climb over and into the back seat right there? Not a big deal because Chevrolet's obviously thought of that. You've got an option here to use a lever that says two times on it, and it pretty much tells you what it does. And then that was one time, that's two times. It just folds right up on its own. Or the rear seat passengers can use this right here to release the seat and get it up and out of the way. Or if they happen to get trapped back there and don't want to use the manual way right there, there is a button right here. When you hold it down one time, it folds the seat flat. And hold it down a second time, it moves the seat completely out of the way. That is a nifty little deal right there. I like that. And the seats are very easy to maneuver back and forth and get back in place. Now, one thing I really like here is the fact that you've got the screens here on the rear of the headrests for the front seat that the rear seat passengers can take advantage of. And there's a lot of things here. You can control different ports, HDMI and all that kind of stuff. You can watch whatever you want to watch on here, play video games. Kids can have all kinds of fun back here. And all the connectivity is here on the rear of the console. And if that's not close enough, I'm going to show you how to move that console back at least on the premier trim level when we hop into the front seat. But here's what you have here. You can watch, you can listen, and you can see navigation on the screens back here. The time is displayed, all that kind of stuff. You also have headphones that come with this model that allow everyone who wants to listen back here to be able to listen or watch or whatever. But here's the thing that I think is very interesting. I don't know that anybody has mentioned this before, but you know, 
parents probably get tired of hearing, are we there yet? The neat thing is that you can see everything that's on the center screen in the front, that infotainment screen up there, here on these screens in the rear as well. So when the kids ask, are we there yet? All the parents have to say is, well, just look on the screen and find out for yourself because with navigation here, not only does it show you the route of navigation, it also shows you how much time is left before you reach your destination. Last but most certainly not least, a couple of features here in the front seat. I talked about how I was going to show you how to move this console back. Well, here's how you do it. On the upper console, I'm going to show you the button that you use to actually move this back. Watch what happens though when I push that. See the console actually moves back quite a bit. That not only brings the controls for the air conditioner, this is tri-zone climate control here, so that's going to have controls in the rear back here on the rear of the console for the middle seat passengers to control everything back there as far as the air goes. That also brings the ports for connectivity, HDMI and USB closer, all that kind of stuff. Just makes everything a little bit easier. But here's something else. You also have a lot of space here when the console moves back. You ladies can put your purses there or whatever the case may be. There's also a drawer right here. You can put whatever you want to in there. But here's the good news. When you bring this back forward, everything is of course going to be basically locked and safe that's in that drawer right there. And if you valet your Tahoe when it's in valet mode, the console cannot be moved by the valet, like everything else basically as it is. Okay, one more thing I want to cover here. I almost said, okay, guys. Mm, yeah, we're trying to avoid that, trying to get out of that habit. So here's one of my favorite features here. Once you get used to it, it does take a little bit of getting used to, at least based on my experience, but once you're used to it, I think you'll leave it on all the time. You've got the conventional method of using your rear view mirror, but if you have a back seat full of passengers, well, it's gonna obviously obstruct the view of the driver with the rear view mirror, unless you use the rear view mirror camera option. And that in and of itself, I think is really cool. But what happens if that's dirty? For example, you get in and you think, oh man, I gotta go clean that. No, you don't. All you have to do is reach over here on the turn signal stalk. You know that thing that you use when you're driving down the road and you're changing lanes or turning? You always use that to let people know what you're doing. At least I hope you do. Uh, yeah, if you live in Shreveport, Bossier, you probably don't. But anyway, let me get off my soapbox. I'm gonna show you on the screen how you activate the rear view camera washer. It's actually very easy to do. As you can see, there's a couple of different ways to do that depending on if you have the rear window wiper on or not, but I really like that feature. And overall, with all of the changes and everything here, I know I'm not discussing everything. Like I said, if you wanna see a full tutorial, I talk about the changes to the shifter and just the overall design and everything in some of my other videos. Those are down in the description of this video if you wanna check that out when you finish watching this one, of course. And because somebody needs the keys to this Tahoe, because there's a customer who wants to look at it, well, that's the end of our video. But that's really about what I intended to do anyway, to just show you some of the features on the premier trim level that I haven't been able to show on some of the other trim levels I've looked at over the course of the last few months with other Tahoe videos I've done. I to say a special thanks to Red River Chevrolet and my friends here at the dealership, especially the Corvette lady, for getting me the keys, or maybe I shouldn't say keys, because they're really not keys it's a remote but access to the Tahoe and of course all of you for being kind enough to take the time to watch and give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye bye